Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Darotondra and I'm back again with another tutorial on PCP, Principle of Computer Programming Level 3 of Tivet College, whereby I'll be showing you how to code this interface. It's going to be one dimension, um, I mean two dimension array, whereby we will have to display our total and also our average i hope you also have an interface like this one what's the first thing to do when you want to do a code of two dimension array you double click your calculating button now two dimension array is divided into four parts now i'm gonna combine the first two parts together which is to um declaring your arrays and your variables and also to initialize your array okay now let's start we say team uh let's say these numbers and in brackets we put this comma why this comma is cause it's two dimension array that simply means divided into two one part is for row and the other part is for uh, a column that's why we put the comma in between now you said s feature equals to now the array that we're gonna initialize is gonna be having let's say okay comma Um, comma, one last. Yeah. Now inside here, let's say two four. Here, let's say three six nine. Now here, let's say four eight. Now let's come to team int i yes okay team int i i yes so yes team int i yes um I is column S in and then let's also do all this right here loop row S in and then all for column as Getting to say D. I'm um, getting ahead of myself, eh? The dim loop all as in feature. Now, lastly, let's say dim deck total deck average as decimal simple as sorry simple as this we are done declaring our variables and we are done initializing our arrays now the now 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 the part that comes um we said in i is so this part by row or column because in this part is where we get the highest index for the row and also for the for the column uh, let's say in i is let's start by row 
multiplied by rho in entire rho as let's assign it to zero to i the right there. Excuse me, what did I name my array? Numbers, okay. Numbers dot get upper bound. Get upper bound. First one, let's put zero. And the second one, one. Int i is added by what? Go or int i is column because numbers get upper bound and then this one will one I mean, let me correct here not as nine to or equals nine here we go okay the enter i'll be all right now from here we come to a part whereby we will be doing for loop okay now we will say for loop we start by row or call for loop row loop row equals to Zero two. Okay. Same part is to assign. Then we'll say zero two. row And here we'll also do the second one for the loop all. Ah. For loop call, who is called? Yeah, here it is. For loop call, it was to zero to write the right thing. Zero to in highest call. Down here, now we come up with the um, processing. Now we are doing the calculation. But then we'll say deck total equals to deck total plus uh, our array is called numbers numbers bracket i is which one are we starting with i know code of we're starting with the rows start with the row and I is column and from here we are done with the total let's come to deck average average equals to deck total total divide by the name of our array is numbers that two length here you have two choices or two options you either use numbers dot length minus one or you go for the numbers of your array that you are having there you can as well also count them and then you write it do you choose but i advise you to go for this one now from here we we come into the last part which is to display where are we going to display we're going to display in our two text boxes the first text box is going to display total what did we name it's our same 
as I was saying, what did we name the text box that we are going to do our first play on? We name it txt total dot text. What do we want to display on this text box? What we want to display on this text box a total. And then the second text box we want to display on it is called txt average that text equals to what do we want to display on this text box our deck average symbol is this and then you I can see how it's going excuse me calculate here we go our total is calculated our average as well this is how simple it is to do to dimension array. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. My name is Yamut Rotondwa. If you have any question, make sure that you ask down there on the session. I will come and I will answer. This is the code. If you want it, I can also send it to you. You can find me on our Facebook page, which is called Real Technology Deal, whereby we are dealing with programming and technology also technical support if you have any question you can post it there we answer if you have any suggestion of the video you want us to do you suggest and then we also do it to our youtube viewers thank you so much for your support keep on subscribing keep on watching making sure that the education coming fashionable so and tell others that it's happening if you are new to this channel make sure that you subscribe and if you like this video, click like button. Take care.